Associated Press as Barack Obama has argued for action on climate change as a matter of health, environmental protection, and international obligation. However, on Wednesday, he added national security to the list. Apparently, President Obama was speaking to, let's see, this is a graduating class of 2015 U.S. Coast Guard Academy, and he said that those who deny global warming are putting at risk the United States and the military sworn to defend it, he told cadets. Failure to act would be, quote, dear election of duty, unquote, the commander in chief said. So on top of the American public being too fat to serve as the number one threat to national security, closely on the heels of that comes global warming as another threat to national security straight out of Barack Obama's mouth. Chris, what's your take there from the words on, from the commander in chief? Yeah, I mean, this whole global warming thing, I mean, it shows how uh, intellectually dead the criminal elite are. I mean, this is a scam that been been trying for decades and they have. If you look at any list of concerns of of people, global warming is dead last every time. I mean, they're they're beating a dead horse with this. The science isn't there. It's been proven false with this climate gate. Uh, these uh, again, another cunning individual, Al Gore. And notice this every single time. This is it doesn't matter if it's Jade Helm, uh, you know, any of these Alex Jones nightmares or Al Gore. It's emotional. A hype over things that we cannot possibly control. We cannot control the weather. Humans, if they launched all the nukes in the world, uh, you know, would, would kill humanity, but the earth would heal and move on, you know, without us. Uh, you know, there's nothing humanity can do, uh, to, to hurt earth. You know, like we need planets to blow up from exploding stars. That will be the end of earth. Uh, it will not be because of man. Um, but this, narcissistic, egomaniacal men that think that they're masters of the universe, that they can control humanity, are looking to manipulate individuals into emotionally uh, worrying about things outside of your control to do what? To empower themselves. Al Gore is on the path to become the first green billionaire. Uh, when, when uh, you know, An Inconvenient Truth came out, he was uh, received all sorts of awards and accolades and, oh, he's so brilliant. And then all of a sudden, ClimateGate came out and saw that the scientists were manipulating the uh, uh, the figures to uh, to uh, you know to lie to say that there was happening uh, when in fact that we haven't had global warming, we've had global cooling. And guess what? It has everything to do with the sunspot cycle that goes on, and we're at the one of the weakest ones uh, that we've seen in in decades, if not hundreds of years. Uh, and we actually are f- uh, fearing that we could go into a uh, a, a mini ice age, much in the way that we did uh, four or five hundred years ago, um, where we have global cooling. Um, and then what? Then what, Al Gore? Are we going to blame uh, CO2 for that and the carbon gases? Uh, because you predicted by the time 2015 rolled around, it will be too late and we'll have, uh, you know, raising, rising oceans and, and you know, people, wars and riots and all sorts of stuff that never came true. And I don't know why people even have the balls to come out and still say that global warming is a problem or even climate change. Of course, there's climate change. We live in, uh, you know, a universe where the sunspots are constantly uh, manipulating how much uh, radiation and, and uh, uh, heat and, and uh, you know, gamma rays and stuff that are blowing through our world. Uh, but yet our world still persists and will continue to persist. Um, but all of these things, climate gate. Uh, all uh, uh, the the war on terror, all this stuff, it pales in comparison to the real world effects of a dollar collapse. Uh, so if you are upset about climate change, uh, the dollar collapse will do more to put a halt to human uh, industrial production, uh, human travel than anything else out there. It's coming. Don't worry. Humanity will not be able to continue uh, this exponential growth of, of debt and death and energy consumption. Uh, the earth will put a hard change on us uh, because things that cannot go on forever won't. Things that are not natural will end uh, and humanity needs to start preparing for that time. The Silver Shield Exchange is a free weekly podcast, but the only way to hear it is through email. Sign up today at silvershieldexchange.com.